Restaurant owners and agencies, handling complex, multi-calendar restaurant reservations manually is a nightmare, don't you agree? Want to see how we solved it using only native high-level voice AI features? We're going to show you how we got high-level voice AI to handle complex restaurant reservations across multiple calendars, something that took us several days to figure out. The best part? This entire setup uses 100% high-level native features. You don't need expensive third-party tools. We'll break down the innovative multi-calendar architecture, the custom action strategy, and walk you through a working example you can use today. Crucially, while our example focuses on a restaurant reservation system, the underlying logic and architecture are universal. This multi-calendar strategy applies to virtually any service-based industry that handles appointments across different service types. Think about medical spas, dental clinics, automotive repair shops, hair salons and barbers, or even fitness centers. Once you master this architecture, you can deploy it across any client business. Hi. Welcome to Aurora AI, the skills accelerator, where agency owners, small businesses, and aspiring developers master AI ecosystems that deliver real results. We take complex systems and turn them into simple, powerful automations, exactly like the one we're about to build. Listen to how effortlessly this AI manages reservations. Hi there. Thanks for calling Aurora Restaurant. How can I help you today? Hi, Julia. I'd like to make a reservation, please. Of course. Could you let me know the date, time, and how many people will be in your party? I need a table for eight people for this Wednesday at 9 a.m. Got it. Let me check our availability for a table for eight at 9 a.m. this Wednesday, November 19th. One moment. Uh, perfect. We do have a table available at that time. Can I get your name and phone number to confirm the reservation? My name is John Smith, that's J-O-H-N-S-M-I-T-H. The phone number is 605-846-9130. Let me confirm your reservation. Your reservation is all set for a table of eight this Wednesday, November 19th at 9 a.m. We look forward to having you at Aurora Restaurant. Let me know if there's anything else I can assist you with. Thank you so much for your help, Julia. We're looking forward to it. Have a great day. You're very welcome. Have a great day, and we look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Hi there. Thanks for calling Aurora Restaurant. How can I help you today? I need to reschedule my reservation, please. Got it. Let me pull up your reservation details. I see you have a reservation for Wednesday, November 19th at 9 a.m. for a party of eight. What new date and time would you like to reschedule to? I'd like to move it to Tuesday at 11 a.m. and we'll now be five people instead of eight. All right. Let me check availability for a table for five at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, November 18th. One moment. Okay, 11 a.m. on Tuesday is available. Would you like me to proceed with rescheduling your reservation? Yes, please. Let me confirm your reservation. Your reservation has been successfully rescheduled. It's now set for Tuesday, November 18th at 11 a.m. for a party of six. We look forward to having you. Let me know if there's anything else I can assist with. Thank you so much for your help, Julia. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. You're very welcome. Have a wonderful day, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Hi there. Thanks for calling Aurora Restaurant. How can I help you today? Hi, Julia. I need to cancel my reservation, please. Sure, let me take care of that for you. I see you have an active reservation on Tuesday, November 18th at 11 a.m. for a party of six. Is this the one you'd like to cancel? Yes, that's correct. Please cancel that reservation. All set. Your reservation for Tuesday, November 18th at 11 a.m. for a party of six has been canceled. Let me know if there's anything else I can assist you with. Thank you so much for your help and understanding, Julia. I really appreciate it. That's all for now. Hopefully, 
I'll be able to yep. make another reservation soon when I'm feeling better. Have a great day. Bye. As you can see, the AI agent successfully makes a reservation, modifies it, and cancels it, all automatically. Let me explain the core concept behind this restaurant reservation voice AI agent system. Unlike traditional reservation systems that use a single calendar, our voice AI connects to multiple dedicated calendars simultaneously. We use one calendar for each different table capacity. Let's talk about the real-world logistics of a restaurant. When you book a table, you're not just booking a slot. Restaurants have tables organized strictly by seating capacity. You have tables for two, four, six, and eight people. And crucially, each capacity type has a limited number of physical tables available. Our solution uses round-robin calendars to represent each of these table capacities digitally. Here is the key concept you must remember. The calendar name represents the specific table capacity, for example, the table for four calendar, and the calendar members represent the individual physical tables, such as table four, table five, and table six. To do this, we create four main round-robin calendars, the Table for Two calendar, Table for Four calendar, Table for Six calendar, and the Table for Eight calendar. Here is the key principle for setup. Each user you create in your system equals one physical table in the restaurant. So if you have four tables that seat two people, you must add four users to your Table for Two calendar. If you have three tables that seat four people, you must add three users to the table for four calendar. Let's quickly see how the round robin logic works. When a customer calls and requests a table for four, the AI determines they need a spot in the table for four calendar. The round robin system then instantly checks which of your four person tables are available. It assigns the booking to the next available table in rotation, and that table is immediately marked as unavailable for that time slot. This eliminates double bookings automatically. To make this clear, here are two quick examples. For our template setup and testing, we use a simplified one to one structure. One table for two equals one user, one table for four equals one user, one table for six equals one user, and one table for eight equals one user. This gives us four total tables for testing. In a real restaurant scenario, your structure would look like this. Eight tables for two would equal eight users. Twelve tables for four would equal twelve users. Six tables for six would equal six users, and four tables for eight would equal four users. This gives you 30 total tables, correctly representing your actual dining capacity. Now let's quickly jump into the Voice AI agent setup in high level. We want to give you an overview of how this agent is structured. The setup is divided into a few tabs. The first tab, Agent Details, covers our general settings, things like the agent name, business name, language, voice, time zone, LLM model, and the agent's initial message that greets the customer. The second tab, Agent Goals, is the most critical configuration point. This is where we configure the prompt. This prompt is the master guide that tells the AI agent exactly how to handle the entire call. In our prompt, we provide the context for restaurant reservations and detailed instructions on when and how to execute specific actions during the conversation. Based on the prompt, the AI should be able to intelligently handle all these during the call actions at the right time. One, human handoff. 
used to transfer the call to a live person if the customer asks a question the AI can't answer or if there are failed action attempts. 2. Reserve Table Custom Action the primary action that triggers our reservation workflow. 3. Canceled table reservation custom action, a secondary action to handle reservation changes. 4. Update first name contact field. 5. Update last name contact field. These last two actions ensure we always have accurate contact data before any booking is finalized. Finally, we need to ensure our availability is correct. We check the action under Trigger Workflow when call is completed and select the Update Table Availability Workflow. This critical step ensures that the table availability is always current for the next caller, preventing double bookings. Now let's talk about how we connect these calendars to the Voice AI using custom actions. We use these two custom actions for the agent to manage reservations, reserve table and cancel table reservation. Here's how it works. In the reserve table custom action, we set a trigger condition. If user gives confirmation on the reservation details. We also configure what the agent says before executing the custom action in this field here. For example, let me confirm your reservation. This is the most important part, the endpoint URL. An endpoint is a specific digital doorway where one system interacts with another to exchange data. Think of the endpoint URL as the unique location where your application connects to another system to perform an action or exchange information. In our case, the high-level voice AI uses this endpoint URL to send the customer's booking request data directly to our high-level workflow. This means the high-level workflow can take that data and execute the subsequent steps to complete the table reservation. So how does the high-level workflow generate this critical endpoint URL? The process starts with our trigger, which is an inbound webhook. A webhook is essentially an automated message sent from one application to another when a specific event happens. Think of it as a reverse API call, where one system notifies the other automatically. When you add the inbound webhook trigger to your high-level workflow, it immediately generates a unique, secure URL. This URL is the specific endpoint designed to listen for and receive the booking request data. When the agent needs to reserve a table, it calls this custom action, which hits the endpoint URL and triggers the inbound webhook in our reserve table workflow. For example, if you scroll down in this custom action, you will see three parameters, number of people, packs, reservation time, and phone number. This is the exact booking request data that the voice AI sends to that generated URL, activating the rest of your reservation process. Now that the workflow has received all that essential information, the immediate objective is to process the incoming data and establish the contact record. Let's walk through this workflow step by step. This entire reserve table workflow operates in four simple stages. First, we immediately find the contact. We use the phone number sent by the voice AI to search for the existing record. The action we use here is a create contact action. This node is specifically set up to search by the incoming phone number. If the contact already exists, it uses that record. If the contact is new, it creates the record instantly, ensuring the reservation is always attached to a valid contact. Second, we determine the calendar. We use a conditional branch to check the number of guests or packs requested. This is the crucial step that routes the process to the correct calendar, whether that's the two-person table calendar, the four-person calendar, and so on. Third, we book the reservation. We run a custom code action. This code makes an API call to book the reservation directly into the correct calendar identified in the previous step. Finally, we handle success or failure. 
we have a simple condition that controls the confirmation loop. If the booking is successful, we update the contact's reservation history field. By maintaining this clear history, the AI agent can refer to it later if the customer calls back to confirm or cancel the reservation. If there's an error and the API call fails, we immediately notify the developer by adding an instant task. This task includes a description of the error, guiding the developer directly on where to debug the issue. And that's the complete, robust, reserve table workflow. Next, we'll quickly look at the cancel reservation workflow, which thankfully is very similar. Since we store the contact's reservation history, which contains the unique appointment ID of the appointment, canceling a booking is straightforward. We use the same custom code action to make an API call to high level, but instead of booking, the code is configured to delete the appointment using that stored appointment ID. The final step is identical to the previous workflow. We include the same final condition to handle the outcome. If successful, we simply update the reservation history field to reflect the cancellation. If there's an error, we notify the developer with an instant task containing the specific error details. It's worth noting how the voice AI handles modification requests, like changing the time or the number of guests. The AI agent first calls the cancel table reservation custom action to delete the old reservation and then immediately calls the reserve table custom action to create the new reservation based on the customer's modification request. This two-step process ensures the reservation data is always clean and accurate. Now that we've covered the reservation and cancellation logic, there's one final vital workflow that makes the whole system work, the update table availability workflow. Remember that the AI agent triggers this workflow every time a call is completed, whether the customer booked a table, canceled, or simply hung up. That's how the workflow is triggered. The workflow then uses custom code to call the high-level API and get the current free slots for each individual calendar, the tables for two, four, six, etc. If that API call is successful, we update a dedicated custom value for each table slot right inside high-level. This is the critical step. By constantly updating these custom values, we can then reference them in the voice AI prompt to accurately tell the next caller exactly how many tables are still available. This ensures the voice AI never overbooks a table, keeping your system reliable. So that's the full breakdown of how our voice AI agent interacts with the calendars using custom actions and high-level workflows for seamless booking, canceling, modifying, and checking availability. If you want to build this system yourself, we've linked all the related high-level API documentation in the description below. Or if you want to skip the build and deploy instantly, the complete pre-built snapshot is also available for you there. Drop a comment below and tell us which industry you plan to use this multi-calendar logic for. If you found this solution helpful, please hit that like button. It helps this video get shown to more agency owners and developers who need this exact kind of native high-level solution. Now, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. We're taking this automation to the next level with N8N. This solution offers far greater flexibility. It's not just multi-calendar, but built for multi-user teams, making it applicable to almost any business size. We'll then break down the pros and cons of using the native high-level workflow versus this external N8N platform, giving you the crucial comparison that will save you thousands as you scale. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.